Tara from the upcoming, so lovely to chat to you. How does it feel having this nomination, being on the red carpet here tonight? It feels like a, a really, really enjoyable dream. <laughs> a lot more enjoyable than some of my real dreams. <laughs> Um, no, I mean, it's been so quick from, I first wrote the first draft of this two and a half years ago in my living room, hadn't told anyone about it, and now here we are, you know, that's absurdly quick, anyone who work, works in film knows how quick that is, um, and so it's just felt like a wonderful, wonderful dream, and also a bit of a wild ride, like we're at the front car of a roller coaster holding on, um, but yeah, I, I'm deeply thrilled to be here, to be invited here, I've never been invited to this before, and to be sort of included in this world as well it just feels a real honor actually and for people who aren't familiar with the film just a brief introduction what can people expect when they watch it well it's uh, called good luck to you leo grand and it was um it's the story of uh, a woman in her 60s who's wid widowed um, who realizes she's never had good sex in her life and so she decides to take her happiness into her own hands so to speak and to book this young male sex worker for the night who she hopes will give her a night of good sex her first ever good sex and so so we meet them together and then we follow them over the course of a series of meetings as they get to know each other and, you know. <laughs> I mean, having someone like Emma Thompson on your set must be like a green come true. But then also this amazing pairing, Darren McCormack, and, you know, so much chemistry, but also some tricky scenes to, to, to shoot. What were some of the highlights and challenges and what was it like working with these two people? Well, I have to be honest and say I wasn't on the set because we were deep into COVID and they they had to quarantine, they had to do all of these things, they had to isolate for two weeks, then bubble for, and I just couldn't be away from home that long. We'd locked the script, it had been rehearsed, I'd made all my changes, and I just felt like it's going to be weird if I just loiter at the back with my arms folded, you know, on what is quite an intimate set. So I wasn't there for that, but I do know from the messages I was getting, and they were sending me the rushes every day, and I could see that chemistry building, even from the rough, um, you know, the rushes that they were sending me, and I was just so delighted to see that because I think that was one of the most important things um, that Emma and Daryl would have that chemistry because you just cannot manufacture it so I loved watching that develop even from afar and I know that they had a wonderful time on the set that Emma and Daryl and Sophie Hyde the director formed an incredibly close and trusting bond um, and that's what you see on screen really the intimacy of that and, and, and the space that Sophie created for them to be that intimate and enjoy it and have fun together and Daryl and Emma became great friends and I just I felt really relaxed relieved excited to just be watching all that develop from afar because you know it doesn't always happen like that um, and so yeah I was absolutely thrilled with that I mean the one part of me was like get me in there I want to be in there <laughs> but I just knew I, I, there was nothing more I needed to do these guys needed to make the film because they're brilliant at making films so yeah. and I guess when you're sat at home writing a film you've no idea what you know it's going to turn out like on the screen how people can connect with it seeing the reception to this film and I think it's kind of symptomatic of the fact that we just don't have enough of these sorts of stories on screen this kind of representation exploring these sorts of things and why do women have this like awful relationship with their bodies you know sort of conditioned to loathe them um, so it must be really satisfying to see how much people are connected with it yeah I mean Again, when you're sort of sitting writing on your own and you think, I just thought, mm, if I want to see how this film ends, I'm going to have to write it myself. <laughs> and so that was part of it. I just wanted to see it. I wanted to watch this film, so I needed to sort of yeah. get it going, really. Um, but it, I was never thinking, oh, this will be controversial or mm, this will get people talking. I was just thinking I would really enjoy this film. So to see the response afterwards and all of the conversations have been wonderful. I've been part of some of them. I've observed some of them. Um, but the, my favourite thing is that I get messages um, from women, just individual women who've watched it, just quiet private messages saying that it's really changed their view of themselves or their bodies or things that they felt ashamed about in the past or how they're going to change in the future and that has just been an absolute delight. I mean, just wonderful. I just take a minute for every time that happens and when I read them and I just think, wow, that's, that's really something big, you know, for an individual woman in her house in, you know, Nottingham or something, watching this film, thing suddenly feeling something inside her go, oh, I could do that. That's great. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thanks so much for sharing all that. Really enjoy the night and best of luck for the awards uh, nomination.